So, this song is awesome. Um, this is a song that my dad would play to us when we were, when we were going to sleep. And it might be to soothe us, it was maybe to soothe us or maybe to keep us in the room. I'm not sure which one, but he would sit outside like on like a bucket or something and just play it for like an hour. And yeah. And he wrote this. He did write this, yes. I think I said that. He made it. You did. <laughs> Also, further note, it's been coined the Discovery Channel song. Yes. <laughs> Seeing as it might fit some kind of nature program. <laughs>
so you gotta sing with me now, all right? How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? Oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Name above all names. So we're going to start our sharing with our oldest son, Paul. Hey, everybody. Hey. So, uh, talk about put me on the spot. Um, well, well, oh, let me just start by saying I'm glad you came prepared, matching, there with your shirt there, looking real spiffy. No, but, but in all seriousness, um, man, you're just a, a great dad, man. Um, you know, I just think about, you know, as Matt and uh, James played the, the uh, Discovery song, as we coined it, I just can sit back and remember sitting in my room at night, just laying down, trying to fall asleep, and he'd be in the hallway just jamming away for hours, and it just doesn't stop. But it puts you right to sleep. It's it's beautiful and it's uh, you know that's something that he he made himself, wrote himself, and I think it's amazing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, I guess I you know just happy 50th, and we'll see you at 150 more, and uh, hopefully we'll be in Ecuador at that point. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just uh, Great times, and one more quick story. I just remember my dad taking me for uh, snowboarding. The, uh, the first time I ever went with my dad, and he's an expert skier, if you guys don't know that. That's a, that's a <laughs> <laughs> No, but he took me, uh, went up to West Hill, and um, my first time ever on a snowboard, I, you know, the guy, I had to rent some stuff and we get up to the to the lift and we're talking to the guy and I was like, it's my first time, you know, how, where should we go? He's like, oh, I'll jump on this one. L little do we know, this is, this goes to the summit. So go to the top. I'm up there shaking around. I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know how to stop. How do I do this? So he's trying to give me little pointers and not exactly the same as snowboarding, but long story short, I ended up going into the trees several times. <laughs> not a joke. I went into the trees, into the forest. Um... But it was, it was a rough time, but it was a good experience. And <laughs> along, <laughs> along the road, I just appreciate um, Daniel, my father. Just, you know, he's, no matter what I choose to do, he's always got my back. He's always got, you know, he's always there to, to back me up and, and say, you know, keep pushing on, keep, keep keeping on. Uh, keep on keeping on. And I just appreciate that. And I know that he's always going to be there. And I... Just, uh, you know, I love you, man, and happy birthday.
Don't cry yet. Anybody else? Somebody want to take the next spotlight? Rob? How you doing, guys? Uh, I just have a little something to say. Um, I've known Daniel for several years now, and as each year goes by, I am more and more impressed of what a devoted, good, and faithful servant he is. Um, over the years, Daniel has provided me with encouragement and inspiration through tough times and struggles that I've had personally. Um, I've had the good fortune of being in a few small groups with Daniel, to rooming with him at the men's retreat, um, getting pulled into doing the sound for the men's retreat. Um, and after uh, the time we spent together, I uh, leave feeling encouraged with a new perspective on uh, a particular topic we may have been discussing. And uh, Daniel can put you at ease because he isn't judgmental or quick to offer advice. Uh, rather, he asks questions as a way of exploring further and deeper in the hopes of coming to a godly answer. And he certainly isn't afraid of putting his own struggles, past and present, um, out there to help someone with their own and uh, that's very disarming. It, it, it really does put you at ease. Uh, when Daniel leads worship, you can certainly tell that it's genuine, heartfelt worship. From his words of prayer in between songs during a service, uh, his Dr. Larry Crabb email moments during practice, <laughs> um, to getting choked up while he's singing a song that's weighing on him um, at that particular moment, it makes him real. And uh, being the front man for a rockin' worship team, uh, his humbleness is uh, matched by his sincere praise of others and what they do. Uh, Daniel's passion and devotion to the Lord, whether it be leading the worship team, facilitating a small group, or just his general pursuit of God and know him more, is a great example of what a Christian man should be. Um, I'm glad to call him friend and have someone I can look up to. And anyone who knows him or has had the fortune of having crossed his path is definitely the better for it. So just to finish, I want to read a passage from Psalms 149. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of his faithful people. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music to him with the timbrel and the harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. And Daniel, God is surely delighting in you. Happy birthday. So that's where my notes went. Well, I feel a little rushed because I wasn't planning on being up here for about another eight minutes because I was on Daniel time, but uh, <laughs> he surprised me with seven, so we're good. Uh, it's just, it was a pleasure to be, uh, have an opportunity to uh, stand up here with, uh, with my friend, and um, I remember the first time I, I, I saw Dan, I wasn't really met Dan, I, I think it was a Good Friday service, and, and he was uh, portraying Jesus, and I thought, Wow, he really did come. <laughs> and then the next week, he was up leading worship. I thought, man, who is this crazy guy with the white hair? I've got to get to know him better. And, and, on for and fortunately, I've, I've really uh, gotten an opportunity to know Dan. And um, as, as Rob said, he's, he's uh, helped us lead in several small men's groups. And um, over that time, he's really brought me out of my shell. And uh, you know, one of the men's groups that we were doing... Um, he came in with his guitar, and he's, we're going to worship first. I'm, Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to sing in front, of, in front of these, you know, just four or five guys. And, and uh, I, I fa soon found myself enjoying that very, very much and, and just having that time. So beyond, beyond the men's groups, uh, you know, Dan's, to me, he's just been a mentor as a, as a man. And, um, and what I mean by that is just not only how he carries himself every day, but just how open he is about his life and about the struggles he's been through. And um, has really helped me um, come, to, come to terms with a lot of the struggles I've had in my life. And um, I'm able to talk to Dan about that. Um, and there's never been another 
another friend, another man I've, I've known, that I've been able to share some of the things I have with him. And I just truly, truly appreciate that. And uh, you're just such a mentor for me. And um, finally, just so I, I could keep rambling here, but um, also you've just been a mentor as a father. Uh, I, I watch how you, you lead your family. And it just inspires me uh, to, to want to do the same thing. And um, you know, you've, you've raised just great children, and, and uh, we've just been blessed as a family to uh, be part of your family. And I just thank you so much for that. So, man, it's been a, been a blast for the last five years, and, and uh, I look forward to being with you for your next 50. So happy birthday, my friend. A lot of my thunder has been taken from, <clears throat> from Robin. <clears throat> but I, I just wanted to welcome you to the 50s. <laughs> I, <clears throat> I went first, so welcome in. And I just wanted to express you know, what, how I felt about, about your leadership um, and your leadership with the music, music team and how much that has meant to me and how much that has helped me bring along bring me along in, in my own um, ministry, music ministry, and to have you as a leader, and have you as a guide in that, um, and a mentor, it just meant so much to me. And, um, and it's starting, something I've, I've needed for so long is a is small, small group, and, and uh, Dan and the other guys in the group welcomed me in and provided me an opportunity to to share with other men um, you know, just problems and, and concerns in my life. And I very much appreciate that and just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. And also I wanted to bring up a, a little experience that uh, I, I and uh, some others have shared recently with him. Um, if you've ever played the game Catchphrase, you know how um, intense it can get. Here is a very intense catchphrase and game player. Um, it's quick, and when, when, when the answers are, are, are come out and it's passed on, if you're playing with Dan, you've got to be ready to catch it really quick, because if you're not ready, he'll drop it. So, happy birthday, welcome to the 50s again, and uh, thank you very much. Dan. You know, we're <clears throat> told all through scripture how important um, love is, that God is love. And fortunately, um, Paul gave us a great definition of love in 1 Corinthians, where he says, love is patient, kind, does not envy, does not boast, is not proud, doesn't dishonor others, is not self-seeking, not easily angered, keeps no record of wrong, doesn't delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, trusts, hopes, and always preserves. We are called to love. Um, I'm always amazed with you, Daniel. Um, we joke about Clifton Park time, then there's Daniel Johnson time. Um, <laughs> but I, you have so many things going on, and you're probably wishing you could get half of them done, and you probably get none of them done. Um, and that would frustrate, I think, most people. But um, you treat us so well, even though um, don't have to. You, um, you are so um, kind and patient with us. And I remember um, when uh, you first started and your kids were younger and they were playing a lot in the worship band. And a lot of times they had other ideas to play and they wouldn't always come to practice and, uh, when you asked them to, but the way you treated them um, with so much love and patience was so amazing, um, even though it, would have, it frustrated me to watch what was going on, but you never got riled. Um, I watch you a lot when uh, the sound techs and I have talked about um, how you treat others and in times of um, intense situation when maybe people are disagreeing with you or have other ideas, you are so patient and kind and you treat others with so much respect and honor. It's, it's amazing to watch, and we, we marvel at your ability to do that because a lot of times I can't, and, 
and I fail at that, and that is truly a wonderful gift from God, and that is from God. Um, I recently have watched you um, interacting with little kids um, when you have a million things going on on a Sunday morning, and a young, inspiring musician will come up, and you'll tune his guitar for him, you'll listen to a song for him, even though you don't have time, and you'll just spend that time with him, and that patience, and that is just truly remarkable, Daniel. Um, you are such an inspiration, and, and um, I see God in you so much through that love, and really appreciate your example and uh, your love, and thank you for um, being so genuine. Truly wonderful. Happy birthday. So I don't really have anything prepared because I didn't even know this was happening. Like, the, well, of course, I knew the party was happening, but this, this talking thing. <laughs> um, I guess, well, the first time I ever really had, like, an actual interaction with you, I don't remember when it was, but you were picking me up from school, and it was just you, so it was weird. Not really. <laughs> but I was, you were picking me up on the way to the worship team, and so this was, like, this was before James and I were dating. And you know, you know, you gotta make a good impression on the parents. So I, I'm, I come out of rehearsal and I get in the car and he's just silent and he just looks at me and he's like, you're late. And I start freaking out. And then he's just silent and then he just goes, <laughs> and then he starts driving the car. And I, had, I did not know his sense of humor at all at the time. And so the whole car ride back to the church, I was like, oh my goodness, what just happened? <laughs> um, but just over the, over the course of, you know, since then and over the past couple years, um, you've just been a great example to me of what a godly father should be. Um, and you've just been uh, an amazing role model, um, you know, keeping James and I in check and helping us with our relationship too, leading us, um, and just watching you with your, with your kids. Um, and it's just, it's amazing to see that type of love. Um, and so, so yeah, so happy birthday. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Daniel, happy birthday. So um, I, I think Daniel's a surprising guy in a lot of ways. Um, a lot of people have joked about him not being on time. And uh, that's an ongoing thing with he and I. Uh, but it, what's, what's really surprising with Daniel is that if you asked him to tell you what time it is on that clock back there, he'd say, what clock? Because he can't see it, and it's just surprising to me that he's that blind. But don't, you know, don't let anybody know that. So uh, uh, the other thing that was really surprising to me about Daniel was that he he, he and his family here um, probably worshipped here at Grace Chapel maybe a year um, before you started really getting involved musically, and I think that's extremely surprising because um, when people have musical talent, sometimes they're all about, look at me, how good I can be, and how entertaining I can be, and um, Daniel doesn't bring any of that spirit. It's never about him, and uh, he didn't want to push himself into a place uh, where it was just um, to, to come and entertain, but when he saw that we had a need, he was willing to get up and start um, helping us in lead worship. And uh, he and Kim have done that for a long time. And um, they've done it in such a way that it's been a delight for me. And I guess that's the other surprising thing is that sometimes, not only does, um, well, let me just say, rephrase that. Um, not only does Daniel know how to lead, but he knows how to receive leadership from myself and the elders and make this all work. And I just think that's remarkable and wonderful and a reflection of your humil humility. And we are all very impressed by your family and just uh, it speaks well and speaks volumes of uh, what a great dad you are, how proud your, your children are of you. And uh, so we say happy birthday to you, Daniel. I'm proud to be associated with you and pastor. And Daniel oftentimes also sends uh, me notes on Mondays about my sermons. 
Most of them are good. Uh, <laughs> every once in a while he says, I had no clue what you're saying there. And, uh, but uh, I love that because he is a reflective, honest, sincere guy. It's a delight to have you as part of Grace Chapel, Daniel. Happy birthday. So. It's been 10 years since I've known you, Daniel. Daniel used to go to our church, but he's here now blessing you guys. I got one thing to say, Daniel. For a man your age, you still have the best hair of any guy I know. <laughs> Happy birthday! Couple more. Oh. Daniel, do you see who's walking up the aisle? He's coming closer now. You'll you'll see him. <laughs> Sorry. Should I? Yeah, go go go. Uh, so I don't have any paper. Those guys took mine. The only paper I have is this thing, and I couldn't even get that thing to work. It's, I don't know how that works. I want to say great job to the kids here because I'm sitting back with Elizabeth thinking, oh my gosh, and some of these parents out here are thinking. My kids would never be able to do something like, I mean, maybe Emily might could pull that off, but I can just see the boys with lacrosse sticks, you know, and their fingers up their nose, and not even knowing it's my birthday. But, uh, <laughs> but I just want to say thank you so much. He's so committed. I, I remember one time I was practicing with him, and he was trying to teach me some, and then, then he's on the phone, and James, another skiing thing, a little snowboarding lesson that you weren't even there for, right? You broke your leg, right? And so I'm like, this guy's playing music. Am I right? Was it? Well, you were here when that was all happening. I'm like, this guy is still practicing for Sunday's worship, and his son has a broken femur. I mean, we're kind of in the medical field, so that's kind of a big deal. It's, that's more than a hangnail, you know? So uh, I was just very impressed. And, and one thing I wanted to say, I went to men's retreat last year and the other 10 years, I think. So I just wanted to thank you so much for every men's retreat. I mean, he works so hard. Um, you know, some of the some years I would say, Dan, I can't do it. I got to have a retreat because it's called a retreat. But I mean, he never really retreated. He worked. He worked so hard. But in some in some way, he found to get in the small groups, and I still think you got some stuff out of it. But I just want to say, you really did so much to the uh, for the men there, and you always do. And uh, can't thank you enough. Great, great influence, and we're so blessed to have him. Happy birthday. I want him back. <laughs> Dan, I feel the same about you now as when I first met you. I was so drawn to you. I love your heart, and I love your character, and I love your integrity. And you are a true Christian brother, not afraid of truth, and not afraid to search. And you mean a lot to me. And it's a pleasure to be here. So, hold on. So what a lot of you don't know is that when Tom first met me, I was really a mess. And I was really angry. And uh, people tried to help me. And I just did this to them. Thank you for being a friend. Hey, Dad. Um, well, I've known you most of my life. And, um, but seriously, I just want to say that um, you're a great example to me. And you show me what it's like to be 
um, a godly man, and and I, I love you. something and believe it or not I couldn't think of anything but the first thing that did come to mind was don't merely listen to the word but do what it says and that just describes you being a doer of the word and I've been a recipient of that doing personally when we get together rarely talk. It's not about Daniel's handicap as a golfer. <laughs> it's not about a football game. It's I want to hear from God. I want God to help me make me a better husband, a better father. And he's all about his family. And for years he's, he's wanted to make sure that God is guiding him to guide his family and see God in him. And I guess if you're here tonight, you know that that worked out pretty well. So I just wanted to say thanks for being my friend and happy to I'm sorry. I met Daniel about 12 years ago, and it wasn't on Christian Mingo. It was at a different church. <clears throat> and for the first three months, he called me Dave. <laughs> so, and we went to a retreat to uh, uh, bolster church attendance, leadership, some such thing. And uh, they the first thing they talked about was greeting and we should greet people, know their name, shake their hand. And we looked at each other and laughed. So I still sign my emails from Dave. <laughs> so um, I guess I will end this off. Actually, you guys can go up and get ready to play my children. And um, so I have been the um, person who has received um, the most from Daniel in my life. Um, the first day I met him, when I found out that I would be on the road with his tour, um, he asked his dad to please pray because relationships when you're in a small group like that are not um, usually the best thing because um, you know, you pair off and you kind of miss the whole group. So uh, he asked his dad to please pray, knowing that I was going to be there and how um, we had just made a connection immediately. And so um, we toured together for 10 months, I think it was, something like that. I don't know, eight months. And, um, and we knew immediately that there was uh, love and... Um, the only thing you could do when you're on tour, though, um, physically, was hold hands when you prayed, right? Because there was, like, no physical contact. So we prayed a lot together. <laughs> and um, <laughs> um, so anyway, we uh, developed a really wonderful friendship because of that, because there was no physical contact. And it was wonderful um, to have that as our base and our foundation. Um, God and friendship. And Daniel really taught me um, what forgiveness is because in the family that I grew up in, 
um, we kind of would fight and then we wouldn't talk for a week or two or whatever, depending on how bad the fight was. And um, there was never, um, you know, reconciliation, talking through anything. And so when we actually got off tour and he moved to New York, um, we had this one wonderful fight and um, he asked me to forgive him and I was like, forgive you? What? You know, because I just, that was so foreign to me. Um, and uh, he really taught me what it meant. Um, more to receive God's forgiveness and um, to uh, really deepen our love and really work through issues. And I'm so blessed to be married to this man. Um, so anyway, I wanted to sing a song to you. And then, and this is um, an oldie but goodie. Probably a lot of you will know this, and it's one of our. You know how couples they have their songs, you know. Well, this is one of ours. So, so hit it, Matt. Tomorrow morning if you wake up and the sun does not appear
lifetimes are made for years. I, I will be here, we'll be together, cause I will be So now, shut off. Um, if you'll be patient enough, we're gonna have just a little slideshow and then we'll go into the gym and eat.